What's good, YouTube? So in today's video, I want to talk about Reese going off on Charleston White for giving him advice, well, career advice. And also, I want to talk about this whole feud between the baby and Meg the Stallion. And I just want y'all to let me know how y'all feel about this. But let's talk about Lily Reese going off on Charleston White for giving him career advice. And I'm going to read something, guys. So it says, Charleston White went from being a teenage crip to serving a stint for murder to being an anti-gang motivational speaker who's big on YouTube. The 52-year-old recently gave Lil Reese some advice, quit the rap game, and become a motivational speaker like him. Reese didn't much appreciate the advice. Now, Lil Reese actually responded by saying, Charleston White, shut your crackhead looking ass up. You don't know me. You only know what you see on the internet. P-U-S-S-Y. Reese does have a point because if you were just judging what you see on the internet, you would see a rapper who doesn't sell albums but who is always getting shot and beat up and who takes anger out on women. So guys, that's what the article is saying. Reese, and basically for me guys, Reese doesn't deal with criticism well, right? He's always clapping back. If persons say bad stuff about him, he's going to respond to it. And I think that's the first thing Reese needs to stop doing. Stop going on the internet trying to respond to everyone who is criticizing you. Because people will forever speak on you. People will forever mock you. People will forever just keep dissing you. So at the end of the day, it doesn't make sense to respond to persons. And I mean, the guy was telling you to start to quit rapping, right? I think that part was disrespectful maybe he could have just said that Lillary should just um try to do more positive stuff you know it could also be the way he said what he said but at the end of the day Reese is a public figure he definitely needs to just take criticism right good or bad you know and, and that's just my personal opinion guys you know so Reese going off on Charleston White it's not like it doesn't surprise me because maybe if he didn't go off on him that would more surprise me you get what i'm saying guys you know because as i said reese is just one of those persons i mean i don't know if i should say he keeps it real or if he's too emotional uh, I would say he's, he's too emotional, you know, <laughs> to be honest, guys, because, you know, if someone says something, he's going to clap back and he, the person doesn't even have to be a public figure. He's going to clap back. You get what I'm saying? But yeah, Reese, I mean, it is what it is, yo. Persons, I mean, a lot of persons are losing respect for you based on a lot of things that are happening to you. You know, but at the same time, you know, I have respect for Reese because this guy's coming from far. You know, I mean, he's he's definitely he seems like he's trying to change, but of course, sometimes obstacles come in his way and stuff like that. You know, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, guys. Let me know how y'all feel about Reese responding in the comment section. So now I want to talk about the baby and make the stallion beef. Now, basically, I'm not even going to read the tweets and stuff like that. I'm just going to, like, talk about it quick. Now, obviously, I'll know about the Tory Lanez and make the stallion shooting situation, right? Now, that baby... Obviously, he did the Cry Baby song with Meg Thee Stallion, right? So they were cool with each other and stuff. Now, basically, the baby, he did a song with Tory Lanez and Meg Thee Stallion got in her, in her feelings, basically, right? Um, I guess she unfollowed him on Instagram. You know, she's all in her feelings, writing a whole bunch of stuff, shading him on Instagram. You know, the baby, he responded to her. Now, her boyfriend get involved in it and started to diss the baby. Now, a lot of persons are saying that the boyfriend, he needs to, to, to be careful because the baby ain't the one. We know the baby is, I would say he's about that life. You know, he like, he and his team, they beat up people, basically. <laughs> you know, so a lot of persons were warning him, telling him not to get involved in this whole situation. But my personal take is... Um, it's good for him to stand beside his woman or defend his woman, right? Because that's the right thing to do, right? But the thing is now, Meg the Stallion should understand that the baby, he's a businessman. He's not, he's not going to get involved in her and Tory Lane situation because basically it's like it's her word against Tory Lane's word. Tory Lane said that he didn't shoot her. You know, a lot of persons actually believe Meg the Stallion, maybe because she's a female and stuff. But at the end of the day, you know, there's some persons who still rock with Tory Lanez. And I think the baby was just trying to stay neutral, not trying to pick a side. So basically, he wants to be cool with Meg the Stallion and he wants to be cool with Tory Lanez. And guys, if the baby actually did more songs with Meg the Stallion, I'm pretty sure that Tory Lanez wouldn't act that way. You know, obviously she's a female. She's going to get all in her feelings and stuff. And that is wrong. You know, I've, yo, this is a business. 
you know, make this stallion must understand that this is a business. The baby, he wants that bread. You get what I'm saying, guys? So he's doing what he's supposed to do. I mean, is he going to tell Tory Lanez, no, I'm not doing a song because you allegedly shot Make the Stallion? That would be stupid. He wasn't there. He don't know what happened. You know, so Make the Stallion going off at the baby, it's kind of stupid to me. I'm not saying what happened to her was stupid, right? But do, does she expect everyone to just side with her because of what she said, and no one is going to work with Tory Lanez ever. You know, I mean, guys, let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. And also, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn that notification bell on. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.